My final thing is I'd like to invite you to Budapest um, on June 7th. We're holding a Leonardo Day as part of the Network Science Conference on Earth's Humanities and Complex Networks. I've been working with Max Shish and Isabel Merilis and Tiana Stepanovich in, in Budapest organizing a day on this with, with some invited speakers. Uh, and we're going to try to really look at a very broad range of issues of how the new science of complex helps us, of complex networks, inform some of the questions in this earth science technology community. So I'm not going to read through the words. The topics are on the web if you, uh, if you do NetSci uh, 2011 uh, on Google. So let me just close with the network knowledge diagram. Thank you for your attention. Uh, and I look forward to having you all feed data into the net network. Thank you very much. We have uh, time for, for sure for a couple of questions. Jesus from Bosma. Hi. Um, I was uh, fascinated by this idea that you can somehow manipulate a network in a way that knowledge gets, well, what, enhanced, spread, or whatever. But you said this after you mentioned some research, I think by Latour, who showed that um, websites actually, the connections between websites followed uh, the social constructions within these networks. So if they don't like each other, they don't connect. Right, and so if I they like each other, they connect. Right, so I guess, the, you know, and, and that's... No, no I, I just wanted yeah. to say, how do, you, how do you think you could avoid problems like they have come uh, to uh, emerge in these like social housing projects of the 60s and 70s and city planning that has completely failed where people have tried to force certain social structures on people how do you want to avoid that in a network well and, and I, f I think it you know it's and certainly his work uh, points out that one of the dangers of networks is that um, well connected nodes tend to get better connected right I mean there's a there's a, a, there's a scale law that happens and so indeed you have to actually exert energy to go against the natural tendency of, of networks to segregate. Communities tend to close down on the web, uh, as, he, as he points out. And so I think uh, it's almost an activist position of looking at the world you're living in and building connections against the natural tendency of the network. Um, I, I, I'm not sure how you'd apply that in a housing project, but I know that one of the things that we've been trying to do with the Yasmin network is really just exerting energy to connect with people around the Mediterranean region, because if you go to Facebook, it's terrible, right? I mean, it, if you look at the, you know, the friends you have, it tends to be people like you uh, in general, uh, if, if, if you look at the, the millions of people. So I, I think you, you can, in an activist sense, you can create connectivity to avoid that natural tendency of, of networks. I'm an optimist. <laughs> <laughs>